The Supreme Court had some pretty tough words on VIP security today asking why so much money was being spent on this and why security is given to judges and those who are not in power. Delhi, in fact, told the court that it spent a staggering 341 crores on guarding VIPs in the last year alone. Why spend so much on protecting VIPs? What about the common man? The Supreme Court's big question as it came down heavily on VIP security while hearing a petition today. The court wanted to know why most states had not given details of how many policemen were diverted to guard VIPs. The Supreme Court said, We can understand security provided to the President, Vice President, the Prime Minister, Speaker and similar counterparts in the states. What is the need to provide security to judges? Why security is given to those not in power and against whom cases are pending? यही 4000 सुरक्षा कर्मी दिल्ली के सड़कों पर या बसों में सुरक्षा करते तो जो दिल्ली रेप केस जैसी विभत्स घटना देश में हुई वो घटना ना होती। Today's observations come a day after the Delhi Chief Minister claimed that the capital continues to be unsafe for women. Harish Salve, assisting the court, said that crores of rupees spent on VIP security could be used for protecting women. So how do the states fare? The Delhi government told the court that close to 341 crores was spent last year on guarding VVIPs in Delhi. Almost 40 crores spent on Rashtrapati Bhavan alone. Most of the money was spent on 376 individuals who had been given Z plus or Central Security Forces, while another 83 enjoyed Delhi police protection. Gujarat spent 30 crores last year guarding 283 persons who were given special security. Also 163 victims and witnesses of the 2002 riots were given security. And Bihar told the court that it was difficult to calculate the cost of providing VIP security, insisted that only the governor, the chief minister, Lalu Yadav and Rabadi Devi, both former chief ministers, have been given Z plus security. There will be a lot of diversion also, which will be not recorded but shown posted in police stations, shown posted in battalions, but they will be working the houses, either in the uh, pilots or escorts. According to official records, on an average, there are just 137 policemen for every 1 lakh population in the country. And as per the 2011 data, 22% of police posts were lying vacant in India. Concerned about the security of the common man, the Supreme Court has asked all the states to give an affidavit as well as a status report about the security given to VVIPs by the 11th of this month. With Arunachalam Vaidyanathan Siddharth Pandey for NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.